Yo, what's up? And welcome back. Hamburglar here. I hope you enjoy that little Guy Ritchie-esque intro. A little homage to Guy Ritchie, but way crappier than anything Guy Ritchie would do. But still, hope you enjoyed it. Today we're looking at a puzzle that was really hard to come by. This thing took me forever to find. The main reason is there are only a hundred of these made, made by Jake Keegan. Uh, he's a student of aeronautics, I believe, or aerospace, and mechanical engineering. So you know it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty wild and crazy. These things sold out pretty quickly. Most people who have them just don't wanna sell them. So I was lucky enough to find one online. Yeah, four and a half grand. I'm gonna be homeless soon buying puzzles. Just to let you know, I'll be living in the streets surrounded by my puzzles. They're gonna keep me. They're gonna keep me comforted and warm at night. I'm gonna have to burn some of these for like firewood. This is the puzzle that I've had my eye on. It's called Jewel Thief. It has a little story, a little background uh, where this uh, jewel thief gets caught uh, by trying to steal a jewel, and we have to help them escape and also find the jewel. So. Puzzle is, as you can see, absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to get into it, guys. If you like this uh, sort of stuff, hit the like button, please, right now. Because if you do, you, every time you hit the like button, okay, there's some guy somewhere who um, has, makes a friend, okay? So a guy makes a friend, if you like it and subscribe and that also helps him with friends. Okay, let's get into solving this puzzle. <laughs> Jewel Thief, this is really, it doesn't, the focus does not like this lid right now. Oh my God, Jewel Thief. This is the box that you get when you, when you, uh, when you receive Jewel Thief, you get this little card, there's a metal card and it says, seeking a partner in crime? Jules, the Jewel Thief has finally been caught by the local constable. She is hoping to find a partner in crime who can help her escape. For your efforts, she will allow you to try to retrieve her jewel from her jewel vault. If you are successful, you can keep this prized gem. The objectives. One, use Brass Knob and Quadrant Legend to enumerate combination. Two, free Jewel Thief. Three, retrieve Jewel and Jewel, uh, Jewel from Jewel Vault. No external tools required, no force for, required for movements. Slight tapping necessary. All movements gravity assisted. Please know that the puzzle contains pieces which might drop out. Please puzzle over clean area. All right, we'll keep this aside because I feel like we might need that. And here we go. Oh my God, look at this thing. This thing is immaculate. Oh, I've been looking, I've been trying to get this piece for a long, long time. It is just striking. Heavy, huge. You look at the different, like, oh my God, this this must be the, uh, the little quadrant. So this is the brass knob and the quadrant is on the backside here, All right, which gives us clue. There we have 19 of 100, J. Keegan, we have a lock here. This must be the uh, the combination they're talking about. Find with the quadrant, we got a button here. So we've got this pin here, which is locked by this, and we've got this pin here, which is locked by this. And inside, as you can see, is a little Lego jewel thief. I think uh, she's lost her hair, but she is in there, and we gotta free her. Nice little jail cell bars here. The details on this thing is really insane. This is really sick. Let me see if I can turn down the brightness a little bit so it doesn't overexposed too much here. Okay, let's get started. First things first is this little quadrant here. This little thing has the numbers one, two, three, uh, three and four. And on the back here, we have one, two, three, and four. Numbers here, we have one, two, three, and four. So the first number is uh, plus one. Is it plus one from what is already here? Or is it plus one from, okay, the numbers are here, it's all zero. So plus one, so maybe maybe that's one. And then we go to this one and it says minus, there's a minus sign, so it's minus two. So maybe we go one, two, we go to eight maybe. Here we go uh, times three. No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, hold on. Zero times three is zero, so that wouldn't make any sense. Put this all back to zero here. We do have this, and this this twists and there's like little increments, like you hear it go click, click, click. I don't know if you can hear it here, let's try. What does that mean? Use brass knob and quadrant legend to enumerate the combination. Okay, I don't know why this thing would have to turn. And it goes like this, right? Which is this way. This thing also kind of shifts in and out here. Okay, so maybe it's one plus one, because there's a one here. So maybe it's one plus one is two. And then two minus two, which is zero. Three times three, which is nine. This is a complete guess here. Four divided by four, which is one. 
That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Why does this thing turn resistance there when I turn this? It also gets pushed in. There's a key somewhere that takes that out. This is really crazy looking. Hmm. Maybe it's just like the numbers here. So like plus one to be like one, right? And then minus two would be, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Times three would be, oh wait, minus, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. This is so cryptic. What uh, what do you guys suggest I do right now in the comments? What would you do? Use the brass knob and quadrant legend. It's the combination we have to enumerate. This is the quadrant legend. This is the brass knob. Use the brass knob. And there's a little line on the top here. So interesting enough that when I just move this, it goes click, 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 click. But when I push it in and move it, it's just a smooth. There is no clicking. So that might be a uh, part of something. I don't know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Plus one, minus two, times three, divided by four. Or maybe it's just plus minus times. This has nothing to do with it, by the way. That's just the number of the puzzle. Just back to zero. One minus two plus times three, like we're already in the negative. Like that doesn't even make sense. Okay, so what about one plus two? Two minus three, that doesn't make sense. Okay, what about two plus one? Three minus two. Let's try that. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. That doesn't make sense. 4 times 3 is 12. That doesn't make sense. There are little clicks and they're very, very slight. Like you can barely hear them. So I feel like that's going to be a factor eventually. I just don't know what this means. Maybe I have to try different combinations of the quadrants here. Let's say I put it upside down and it's going to be three plus one, which is four. That's a four, so it's going to be... All right, for some reason from uh, minute 10 to minute 14, the camera stopped recording and I didn't realize it. I was looking at the monitor and I didn't realize it stopped recording, but um, you'll be happy to know that no progress has been made and we are still at square one. So just a giant jump. Uh, one thing I did notice that there is these little clicking sounds and also there's a lot of moving parts on the inside here. Like if you shake it around, if I hold everything tight, because it does say use gravity, so there are some things going on in the inside there. Now, all of which doesn't really matter until we open this. This is the first thing we have to do. Use the brass knob and quadrant legend to enumerate the combination. I don't understand what the brass knob has to do. Like, I don't think I have to turn the brass knob yet. I think we just have to use this and the legend back here to figure out these numbers, after which this might come into play. That's my theory. I'm just doing one plus one, two minus two, three times three, and four divided by four, which gives me two zero nine one. And that is an unsuccessful uh, combination. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> no idea, no idea, wow. I'm sure a lot of you are yelling in the comments right now. Oh my God, I know the answer. Hmm. What? Um, what if one plus two is three? Let's try that. I don't understand why this would have to be there. That's the thing, like I can't just follow this. I have to follow both of these and why, why is that? So unless, <clears throat> and these are the same numbers as that, so. Unless it's like something like one plus three is four, and then two, one plus three is four, two, let's say, one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Maybe it's the number of clicks, because there are little clicks and there's more than one click per quadrant. Seems like there's three clicks on the first one, so. One plus three would be four. Second quadrant is minus and it's two. Let's see. One, two. Seems like there's two there. So two minus two would be zero. Third one is multiplied by three. So it's nine. Three times three is nine. And the last one is divided by and it's four. Let's listen. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What does it say to spin? It says spin this way. So it has to go like that. Like there are these larger clicks and then there's like the smaller clicks. I'm very confused right now. Seems like that's a five. So six. Seems like that's five as well. So it's three. It's five as well. So that doesn't make sense. Like that little rubbing noise is blocking out the click sounds. I can't specifically hear what clicks there are. I'm going nuts here. 
Wow, coming up in a half an hour and I haven't figured anything out. Zero. Nothing. Actually nothing. How does this make sense? Like plus one what? One plus what? One plus the amount of clicks? Or the amount of clicks plus one? The amount of clicks plus one. Let's try that. I don't even know how many, cause like you can't, I bet the camera couldn't even pick this up. The mic couldn't even pick this up. They're so tiny. And I don't know when I'm exactly at the one cause it clicks at that line, at that line it clicks. Uh, I think five. So it's six. That sounds like seven. So it's eight, I guess. So four minus one is three. It sounds like a two or a one. So it's two or a one, it's times three. Four, that's definitely four. Four minus two is two. That's a two. So two times three is six. I'm out of ideas. <sighs> so here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's my reasoning, okay? So it doesn't make sense that, that we multiply or add these quadrants to the ones that are matching, because that would be just too easy. Do you know what I mean? Like here, we have one and we have a plus. It wouldn't make sense to do one plus one is two, right? So what is the other purpose? And so what I've, what I what I think is that when you when you move this and, and you're not, gonna, I'll put this up to the mic so maybe you can hear the clicks a little bit. Very faint clicks, like they're so faint, they're so tiny, and and they they even get like <laughs> overshadowed by like the uh, 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 of the metal, but there are clicks in these quadrants. So I'm thinking quadrant one, we count the amount of clicks. Quadrant two, we count the amount of clicks, etc., etc. So, and to do this, I really have to put it up to my ear. So I'm sorry that you're not gonna see this. So quadrant one sounds like four. So four plus one would be five. We're gonna go to five. Quadrant two. Quadrant two, it's very difficult. Sounds like four. So four minus two would be two. So we're gonna go to two. Quadrant three is a multiplication. So quadrant three, we're gonna line up here. Sounds like three, let me try again. Sounds like three. And it couldn't possibly be four because three times three is nine and four times three is 12 and that wouldn't make sense. So nine, we're gonna go with nine. And then the last quadrant, I mean, it says divided by four. So it would have to be either four or or, or that's it, right? Or zero, I guess. It sounds like one. So four divided by one divided by four, four divided by one would be four. And that's a no. I'm just gonna like move the numbers here until it opens maybe. I'm just gonna keep moving these. What? Wait, what? Wait a second. How does that make sense? It was five? How does that make sense? Wait. How does that make sense? That's four, correct? That would have to be 20. I didn't hear 20 clicks. Why does that open there? I have no idea. Huh? Okay, maybe that's a mistake. I don't know. Okay, well anyways, we're gonna continue because uh, we did something great. Okay, we got a peg here, we got a pin. Oh, now this turns and you can push it in a little bit. Okay, interesting. Wait, now this turns without the middle piece. Did you see? This turns, but look. What's happening? That looks like it wants to come out. Let me keep pressure on the back here, because this I can push in now. Because you can see the bars aren't lined up with the internal square anymore for some reason. <gasps> now it's locked. Now it's not locked. Okay, so when I place it face down, this locks. When I go face up, it unlocks. Face down, locked. Oh, well I guess that's where the, uh... I'm looking inside and there's like a little, as you can see a little hole there. I'm guessing that's where the peg went. It said light tapping aloud, so I don't know what that's gonna accomplish, but. Hmm. Okay, so when it's upside down, right here it locks. Here it unlocks. Still locked. Still locked. Still locked. Still locked. So only here, and now it's, wait, now it's still locked. Now it's unlocked. 
Oh, now it's out more back here. It's definitely more protruded back here. Right here, turn it. Now it's locked. There's something stopping it from turning when I flip it downwards. When I flip it this way, it has no problem turning. Maybe it's like a safe. Why? Spin it. Didn't do anything. Worth a shot. It's like a trap. You can hear it fall in. Watch, I'm gonna start turning this thing and you're gonna hear a pin drop. Listen. There it is. Okay, so maybe there are multiple pins on the inside and I have to kind of avoid them, like traps. So, it fell in, I can go back. Now it is freely spinning without that middle part spinning. You see the, the prisoner is, is now in there. Uh. So the puzzle locks. And that, that is a bad thing, I believe. I, the, the one thing I would like to know is does this come out or does this come out? Like that, I think that would help me. So it's definitely a gravity game here. So when I'm in that position, it is locked. this a spinning puzzle? Was this a spin move? Did I, did I miss a spin move? That's exactly what happened. I missed a spin move. Are you kidding me? Me? Missing a spin move? That's exactly what it is. These pegs go here. Oh wait. It had to be exactly, it had to kind of, actually was the spin move? Not really, it's more like a rotating move. Each of them had to be in their respective holes without letting the other one out. That is actually crazy. Um, pretty much dumb luck. But now, okay. We have the jewel thief. Okay, this is interesting. Something's in here, okay. Just saying, something's in there. Uh, we have the jewel thief, <laughs> complete with a grappling hook. Let's get our hair back on here. And we have a key. I believe the jewel is in here. That's just my speculation. We're gonna... Okay, we're gonna unlock this. Ooh, this is exciting. This is really exciting. Let's get this over here. What's the problem here? I've unlocked you. I don't understand. I mean, that's supposed to come out. Why isn't that coming out? <laughs> Why is that stuck there? How can I get that out? That pin doesn't come out. Okay, something else is going on here. Clearly that can't be connected to that top part. Oh, there are pins. So there are pins in here that you can't see. Click, and then they lock into place. That's pretty crazy that there's even pins that you can't see, plus the ones that were in here. There's so many pins, oh my god. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this back together, but first of all, this thing here needs to come apart. Well, no, why was this locking in the first place? What was this even locking? Oh, here we go. Cool. What does that do? Why is this even there? Why is that even there? What did that even lock up? Is this some sort of tool I need for this? Huh? That was in there, so the key unlocked that, but w what was that even locking up? There's nothing in there to lock up. This 
is like spring loaded. I've not found the jewel. Just put that put that in there. We'll be fine. There it is. There's the jewel. We've done it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. Look at all the tiny little parts. Look at all the tiny little parts in there. Okay, so this locked that. So there's another spin move, but my spin move didn't work for some reason. First of all, actually, can we take a second to congratulate our jewel thief? Bum ba da bum, ba 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 da bum. Yes. Still confused as to why this was there. What was that? even locking. We'll get to that. Okay, we'll get to that. I'm not done with you. All right, so uh, off camera, I got it open and inside was just just really the inside of it. Uh, there's also this little part here, which is uh, that rotating part. So everything is, <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to open this part to be frank. Um, there's a pin here, a pin there. Okay, let's just try to get this back together here. All right, probably took an extra half an hour there, but it's done because the, the I'm not even gonna try to explain the pegs instead of being like this, I, anyways. Everything is back to extremely difficult. And that is locked. It is now done. You are back in your hole. Everything is back to the way it's like <sighs> My hands are all dirty. Hot dang. Boom, baby. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, look at this thing. Look at th look at this stupid little person. <laughs> You're trapped again. That was difficult. Okay, final thoughts on this puzzle. This didn't make sense to me. This last number still, I don't know. If you have this puzzle out there, would love it if you emailed me and, and explained that to me. That would be great. Secondly, once everything was out, why was this lock here? Other than that, I thought it was amazing. The little vault on the inside with the extra puzzle, I thought was really genius. I mean, the look of this thing, the quadrant here, everything, everything was amazing. Like, such a cool puzzle because everything you need to know is in and around the puzzle and just the the, the color of it the size of it, the shape the, the the weight of it is amazing so anyways guys hope you enjoyed that if you want to help a guy with some friends uh, like the video subscribe and we'll see you on the next video Peace. Peace.